Hi guys and welcome to another Trek Guide video. Today we are at Circuit de Barcelona, Catalonia to be exact. So we're going to do the Trek Guide for the upcoming manufacturer's race and of course we're going to do the strategy after. So let's get started. So the first thing here is that you want to carry a lot of speed onto this main straight because it's really long and you will get a lot of time like that. So coming in into our first breaking point, as you can see, I'm using the reference on my left uh, as a breaking point. So really hard on the brakes here, just a little bit of trail braking here in the second gear and then uh, back on the throttle in the, in the third gear. Releasing the throttle just for a little while and back in the fourth gear and back on the throttle. So, uh, this point uh, here is really crucial here because you want to carry a lot of speed onto this section. So look for this piece of uh, piece of light in front of you, and this is the point when you start to fully accelerate. So be back uh, on the power, nice and easy. In the four gear, as you can see, it's really easy to lose time around here. So you want to be looking for your next reference point, which is uh, pretty much the shadow in front of you. So this one is crucial again. Uh, a little bit of trail breaking here, but not too much. You want to carry a lot of speed uh, and starting to put in the full power somewhere in the middle of, of the corner. So nice and easy back in the four gear and looking for your next reference point. I'm using this uh, little piece of light on my right as my reference point for uh, braking. So you want to downshift it into second and then just a little while in the first gear to get a rotation of the car and back in the second gear and fast as you possibly can back on the power so four gear and look for your next reference point uh, here i'm using the piece of curb uh, in front of you so start of the curb in front of you. this is your braking zone so downshift into second gear to get a rotation of the car back in the third gear as fast as you possibly can back on the throttle so in the four gear and nice and easy so this one is just tapping on the brakes here, as you can see here. Uh, in some cars, you, you don't even have to tap the brakes, just a little lift and back on the throttle. So it's really it's really crucial that you stay on the power and trust the car that is gonna stick. So look for your next reference point. Here I'm using this, uh, this marker on the right, and this is the hard braking zone. So again, a little bit of trail braking, clipping the apex on the left in the first gear, again, to get the rotation and in the second gear to prevent the wheel spin of the tire. So here I, I brake just a little bit before the beginning of the shadow in front of me. So again, a trail braking. So it's this, this track is full of trail braking zones. So you want to be looking to your right. And when you see this uh, curb, uh, this is the point when you start to fully accelerate out of the corners. In some cars, it might be a little different, but that's it. So. Uh, looking again in front of you. So I'm using this uh, tire marks in front of me as my reference So clipping the curb on my right and again as fast as you possibly can on the power And when you reach this point, this is the point when you start to uh, start to break just a little while and Trail braking again just a little bit of trail braking in the second gear And you want to get above those curbs in front of you as and then as fast as you possibly can on the power in the third gear and some cars it might be a little different so you might want to stay in the in the in some other gears but uh, this one is pretty much okay for me so guys let's jump into the strategies okay let's check the strategy here uh, I just want to mention that some cars might be a little bit worse on the tire wear so you might want to be like uh, six laps on the softs, then seven laps on the softs, and again, six to seven laps on the mediums. So, uh, but I think for my car, for Wheat Valve Vantage, I think it's okay to go seven laps on the softs in the first stint, eight laps uh, in the second stint, and five laps on the mediums in the last stint. So, the full race has 20 laps, and you gotta make sure that you feel safe during the race. Also, I would like to mention that if you're starting somewhere at the back or in the middle, so if you want to try some alternative strategy, let's say uh, you want to do first uh, mediums. So let's say you want to do five lap on the five laps on the mediums, then switch to uh, soft 
and probably you would get around uh, seven laps to eight laps in the second stint and again seven to eight laps uh, on your last stint on your soft tires so guys i hope this video helped you and uh, please make sure that you like the video and subscribe to the channel so until the next time guys bye